Enough racket to raise the dead. Come on, come and give us a hand. No, it's no good. Someone's coming. Certainly disturbed him. Well, perhaps it was a possum. Yes, I wonder. Good morning, Doctor. What can I do for you? Oh, good morning. Uh, well, uh, here's my list. And um, are there any messages for me? Uh, none at all. There seems to be an epidemic of good health in the district at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad when young Vicky gets back. It doesn't take long for the mail to pile up. Though why they wanted to go into town to shop, I cannot imagine. I could have ordered anything they wanted from here. Well, it's difficult to get a dentist in these parts, and uh, Jenny was overdue for a little holiday. Uh, ah, ladies. This is Dr. Gordon, Dr. Gordon, Mrs. Pentland, and her daughter, Serena. How, How do you do? do? The ladies have just arrived to look over their inheritance. The Compton property. Oh, yes. I attended Richard Compton just before he died. Um, something of a recluse, was he not? More like a hermit, I think. Was there anything else, ladies? I don't think so for now. The carrier's waiting outside and the cart's already weighed down with luggage. <laughs> My dear ladies, you can't travel all the way to the farm on Skelton's cart. It's most uncomfortable. Uh, allow me to offer you both a seat on my trap, uh, if you don't mind stopping briefly on the way. Oh, not at all. That would be very kind. Thank you. I've heard about flying machines, but I've never actually seen one. Oh, this is not a flying machine. It's a completely new idea, but it's not finished yet. Will it really fly? Oh, I believe it will, but I have to test it. Actually, I was planning on trying it out on the clifftop of your new property. Please do, Manfred. Oh, good. Well, maybe watch. Of course, but I doubt there will be much to see. Perhaps you would both join us for an uh, afternoon tea afterwards. Delighted, thank you. Is it yours, Manfred? Oh, no, that's Black Beauty. He, he belongs to Vicky. What are you doing? I'm talking to him. But you're rowing on his nose. That's one of the ways we talk. Never heard that before. Perhaps you should try. <laughs> no. Horses and me, we don't understand each other. Time to go, darling. Goodbye. I shall look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It had become so run down. It's not quite what I expected, I must admit. But we've survived worse places than this. Do you really think you ought to stay the night here? Yes, of course. We'll soon have it in order. What the heck? You better take a look. Intend on staying. What do we do now? 
We're businessmen. We make them an offer on the place. What if they won't sell? Oh, they'll sell. We'll make sure they do. It's not exactly the Ritz, is it, darling? What a place to bring you to. I love it. <laughs> it's so wild, so empty. He's come. He's found me. Your spirit horse. He's here. Oh, come and look, Mother. <sighs> Isn't he beautiful? Dearest, you know I don't have your eyes. I wish I could see him. I'm sure you could, if you really tried. Of what? I don't know. There's danger. For horses. And for us. Could you hold the back, please, while I lift it up? No, no. <clears throat> let me do that. I'd love to fly. <laughs> My dear young lady, I admire your spirit. All right, you can let go now. I'm ready. I've lost two of me best horses, Carmody. Uh, they're certainly taking their pick. Well, what in the devil's name are you gonna do about it? Spending all day and half the night in the saddle. You've been lucky. Some have lost four or five. Well, someone must know something. If they do, they're keeping it to themselves. What the hell are we supposed to do then? Hey? Eh? Lock our horses up in the barn every night. It'd certainly be wise to keep a close eye on your horses, yes. That's just great, isn't it? We pay for a policeman and do the job ourselves. You've got two choices, Mr. Colts. Either stay here and complain till you're blue in the face, or you get on your horse and help me look. Which is it to be? Ages to get this house into some semblance of order, and now, look. Well, it could be youngsters up to their tricks. But they soon get to know when the place is standing empty. There's some water left. Well, we can bring some more over tomorrow, and it won't take long to patch up those windows. I should learn to listen to you, shouldn't I? Young people seem to be getting on well together. Hmm. Yes, I think Manfred is a dreamer, like Serena. They have that in common, at least. But little else, you think? Oh, no, I'm sure they have a great deal in common, but um, Serena is special. Some would say unusual. In what way? Uh, she seems to be a perfectly charming young lady. Serena has a gift. A vision, if you like. She has a special understanding with animals. And she'll get on well with Vicky. She has a very close relationship with Black Beauty. And Jenny's the same, wonderful with animals. Perhaps it's something reserved for women. It may be. I'll be glad we get rid of this lot tonight. It's a bit risky with those women around. Yeah. Perhaps it's time we paid them a formal visit.
Morning. Morning. You be uh, Richard Compton's niece, Mrs. Pentland, is it? Yes, that's right. Did you know my uncle? Uh, we worked for him a while back. Uh, I'm Dennis Mitchell. This is my brother Matthew. We uh, heard the place was a bit run down, but... Oh, nothing we can't put right fairly quickly. Take a lot of hard work to get this place back on its feet. We spoke to your solicitor a little while ago. He said you might think of selling. Oh, it's far too early to think of anything like that. We'd make you a good offer. Thank you, but not at the moment. Very well, ma'am. If you change your mind, we'll be in town. The solicitor knows where to find us. <laughs> oh, maybe I should sell the farm. We're not really farmers, are we? I don't think I'm cut out to be a pioneer. It's so remote. And that's what I love about it. He's back. The horses are going into the water. They're afraid. Europe. Yes. And Europe was like this, but now they cut down whole forests and destroy nature to build factories and new cities. It's... But when I tried to talk about it, nobody wanted to listen. They, they just didn't understand. I understand, Manfred. Looks like the girl's found herself a gentleman friend. There's getting to be a few too many people around here for my liking. That's where the horses went. What horses? Into the sea. Did you see horses here? No. No harm came to them. But they were afraid. Serena! I'll be here for some time. Now's our chance. Oh, we might have expected this. Let's do it. Yeah, give it a spin. <laughs> you can make all the noise you like this time. There's no one to hear you now. Nasty piece of wood, this one. Yeah, but worth it. Couple <laughs> 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 of days without food and water should see you settle down, my boy. <laughs> Playing the gentleman didn't help, did it? What are you talking about? The women. It's about time we put a real fright into them. Boy! Beauty.
never leave this city. Buckshot. I certainly meant to scare you. Manfred tells me he knows something about the stolen horses, miss. Is that right? Yes. They were near here. Then they went into the water. I know it sounds strange. Did you see them? No, but they were here, down on the beach. That's it. That's why nobody's seen anything. They're taking them away by boat. We better start looking for them before they ship the next lot of horses out. Yeah, my horses. And beauty. They'll not come here while they think the farm's occupied. Ladies, it might help if they thought their plan had worked. You mean run away? I'll we'll give the appearance of it. You're most welcome to stay with us, and it would be safer. Well, it does give us the chance to run for cover without losing face, doesn't it? No one doubts your courage, Mrs. Pentland, and it would be of great assistance. Then we'd greatly appreciate your hospitality, Dr. Gordon. Good. We'll start keeping an eye on the cove as soon as you're gone. You and Lewis will lend a hand. You try and stop us. Look at your hands on those thieving rat bags, I'll know it. There are ladies present, Mr. Coates. Uh. Although I sympathize with your sentiments. We can't wait three days for the pickup. Look what this is going on. Maybe we should think about taking him out across country. Bit of a risk there. The way he's carrying on, it's more of a risk keeping him here. Yeah, maybe you're right. The rustlers want to sell him. I think they'll take good care of their merchandise. Serena and I would like to go look for him. I know that might spoil Constable Carmody's plan. When the rustlers are caught, we'll get Beauty back. And I guess Serena would know if something had happened to Beauty. You're becoming quite fond of her, aren't you? Yes. She's my friend. I can talk about my ideas and she understands. Yes, that is very valuable, of course, but um, it may not be wise to become too attached to her. She won't be here for very long. And um, she's very different to most girls her age. Yes, she's different. But that's what makes her interesting. Yeah, I suppose it is. That'll do us. again. Yes. There's beauty with them. They need me. Then I'll have to call them to me. Devil's upset him now. Blow him, you'll get away. The dickens was that? Over there! Come on! Come on, let's get out of here.
Oh, well, Dennis Mitchell. Moved up to stealing horses, have we? Oh, we'd had you and your brother a long time ago. If old Mr. Compton had accounted his sheep instead of trusting you. I'd like to break your thieving neck. Believe me, Mr. Coates, compared to the years he's gonna spend in prison, that would be a kindness. He said he acted like a wild horse. Oh, did he hear your call? Yes, you heard me, didn't you? So you're going to leave soon? Yes. And you're not coming back, hmm? No. But I can persuade Mother to stay a few more days. I'm not going to see you again. We're traveling the same path. I think perhaps one day we'll meet again. <laughs>